All right, guys, now that we learned a little bit about Paul Clay, we're going to create a Paul Clay style cat and bird drawing, okay? First thing we're going to do is create a big U shape on our paper. So start on the very top, big U coming down and then coming back up to the other side, okay? Next thing we're going to do is create the years. So we're going to start from the center right here, draw a curvy line out, another curvy line out this way. That'd be our years. Now our eyes. So we're going to draw more curvy line for our eyes. We're going to be drawing a curve up and then the curve down, a curve up, and curve down. Good. Now inside we're going to create the pupil. So more curvy line, sideways, curvy line, sideways. Okay. Next thing we're going to add is the nose. We're going to start with a heart shape. That will be our nose right here. We're going to connect the side to the center of the eyes, right there and right there. That will be our nose. Next thing we're going to do is our mouth. More curvy line up, curvy line up, okay? And then we're going to add whiskers. We're going to start from our nose, go up, down, and up, all the way to the edge, up, down and up to the edge, up, down and up to the edge. Same thing on the other side, up, down and up, up, down and up, and then up, down and up. Now, um, there's a reason for going from the center to the very side, uh, very edge of the paper, and I'll show you why here in a minute. Now we're going to draw two more curvy lines on the bottom here for his body. Okay. And on the top where we're going to add the bird, we're going to start with fish shape. Okay. We're going to add a circle for the head. The beak, U, sideways U for the um, wing, and feet. All right, before we color, we are going to outline or trace our um, drawing. So that means we're going to use the black Sharpie. We're going to trace all the lines we just drew. We're going to trace nicely, slowly, carefully. Now, if you don't cover all the black pencil line, that is okay because we can always erase them later before we color. Now, the reason for tracing is when we're coloring it, the black line will make our drawing pop. It will make our color stand out. It will make our picture stand out. Okay, and just makes it really neat and clean look. Okay. So go all the way down until you finish tracing everything. Now, as you can see, I have some pencil lines showing that I don't really want to keep. So what I can do now is before I pick my color, I can erase all the pencil lines that I have, right? So erase the pencil line. You don't have to erase the pencil line, but when you're coloring with crayon, um, the pencil line sometimes will make the color kind of muddy looking. I don't like that, so I am going to erase the pencil line. So when I color, the color is exactly what I want. Okay? Now, area, uh, Paul Clay used a lot of nice bright colors so that's what you can choose for your colors for your cat and your bird let's see see i want to use orange first for my cat i can start center right here i'm going to color it nicely 
neatly, staying in the line. Now I want to use, say, blue. So I'm going to start from this area and color horizontally, carefully and slowly, all the way to the side. Now, here is the trick. You can stop right here and use that as one area, one shape. And then you can go um, to the next color for the outside here. Or you can continue with that blue you started with and just go all the way out. It's completely up to you. And I like symmetry, meaning um, both sides are the same. So I'm going to start with the blue on this side and then continue with purple on the outside as well, just like the right side of the face, okay? And then as you keep as you um, keep going with the colors, you can go, ah, next one I want to do green. And again, you can continue with the green or you can go, hmm, I think a little bit of red would look really nice on the outside. And you can do that. Color it carefully and nicely in each area. Okay, and so like I said, I like my picture to be symmetrical. So I am going to color the outside red and then my inside green, just like the other side. All right. Okay, so for the rest of our time here, we're going to continue to color the rest of our cat and the bird. Okay, good job guys.